What is up everyone? Today, we finally got the device we have been waiting so long for. Well, actually, it's been about three weeks because I think three weeks ago was the first time I mentioned UPS had a package coming to me. And let me just say, I am unbelievably excited. And why am I excited? Well, that is because today, thanks to a user on our Discord, we're checking out a device that doesn't actually exist anymore. What do I mean by doesn't exist? Clearly it exists if I'm holding it in my hands. Well, this is the Mayo armband. It officially came out in about 2015 and later on has kind of a rough history. Thalmic Labs, the company that created this, later on rebranded to North. North, the company that sells smart glasses nowadays. And later on, the patents for this armband were bought from North by Control Labs. And Control Labs, we know, make bracelets. Well, uh, smart bracelets. The bracelets that use EMGs to sense your muscles and your hand movements. And what do you know? Control Labs in 2019 was bought out by Facebook. So this device cannot be purchased anymore. The only reason I have this here right now is because I managed to buy it from a community member on our Discord. As you may know, Facebook has recently been working on gesture control armbands, ones just like these. Inside these armbands are EMG sensors. These things, when they warm up, they will be able to read your muscle activity and translate that into something the computer can read. Now, Facebook has gone a long way from when the Mayo armband was first released. I mean, this thing has its years, but what Facebook wants to use it for is gesture control, hand tracking. Currently, what Facebook does is they use their inside out cameras for hand tracking. And as we all know, that isn't necessarily the best. Not only that, but it has its own issues when it comes to putting two hands together. These armbands could completely change that. And I mean, they already have. We have research that we know Facebook is doing into these armbands that will allow for much greater fine control over hand tracking and everything to do with it. And I mean, it makes sense. If they're going to be releasing their AR glasses anytime soon, they're going to need some form of gesture control so that you can, you know, change your music like this or fire up some notes or something. This will end up being the future. And I don't mean this here specifically, because as I said, the Mayo armband is pretty old, but that's not gonna stop us today, because today we're going to be taking a look at this and what it can do. As a device that is, well, this old, what can we do with it and how good is it? So let's jump right into it. So the armband just slides onto your arm like this. I think you want to put the sensors roughly on your muscles because each of these sensors reads a muscle. So once it's on there, it's going to connect to my PC and I can see that happening already. And it's vibrating on my arm right now. And as you can see there, I just synced up the armband and it's going to warm up. That's a thing with this armband. I don't think Facebook is going to have that once they release theirs, it's going to be much more fine tuned. Currently, this one needs to warm up. So I'll be back to you once it has. So here we go. Now we are going to resync the Mayo for best results. I'm just going to click resync right there. Sync Mayo. I'm going to hold my arm out like that. And the Mayo is now synced. With this device, it is best to create a custom profile or so I've found in my very, very short amount of testing. So I have actually created a custom profile for calibration right here, as you can see. Getting the software for this armband was not easy, but the Wayback Machine actually has all the software. So I did manage to get a few applications along with it as well. So here we've got Spotify. So if we double tap to unlock the armband, we can actually play just like that. And then if we double tap again and go like this, now we've paused the music, but it can have some false positives like it did right there. All I was doing was just moving my hand around and to make it much like more viewable on the screen right there, I'm gonna go like this. There you go, we've changed song. So I'm gonna do it again, double tap like this and we've changed song. And to pause, the pausing actually I have found works the worst out of all of these. So if I double tap and go like this, Oh, it actually worked. Of course it would actually work, but it seems that this exact movement, it just doesn't like very much. So let's try that again. Okay, so now it works perfectly. So it seems that after calibration, it actually works really damn well. So let's try go back. 
it works. Perfect, that is amazing. So it does actually seem to work very, very well. And that is highly, highly impressive. Now, the unfortunate thing about this device, of course, is because it's so old, you try to open up the Mayo market and it doesn't exist anymore. So the truth is, what can this device be used for right now in 2021, except for maybe playing some music. Well, it has VLC support and it has something they call presentation mode. There's also a few drone apps actually, surprisingly, because yeah, this thing can be used to control a drone just like this, which is very interesting. And there is actually some phone apps, which is what I am highly interested in. This thing has Bluetooth. So if I connect it to my phone using Android 11, it should technically allow me to control my music on that as well. Whether it works, I don't know. I guess we're about to find out. So check this out. I've managed to connect the device to my phone. So if I fire up my OEMG here, you can see if I put my hand down like this and it's not doing anything. Yeah, the graph shows that it is actually well, not doing anything. If I start moving my hand out like around erratically, it is going to start changing. Also, if I put my hand down like this, but make a really firm fist, these lines go absolutely crazy. And while I personally have no clue what these lines mean, the computer does. And as a person who just wants to use the device, that makes sense. But it is interesting to look at them and see how they change when I do the different gestures the Mayo supports. So yeah, it seems we can connect it to our phone. Now, the real question is, what can we actually do with it? Let's find out. So thanks to the power of Google, I managed to get my hands on this incredibly old version of Mayo app and I can connect the armband. That's interesting. Open your favorite music app. Oh. Let's see how that's going to work. So if I fire up Spotify, it works. Okay, check this out. Music's playing. That is pretty cool. <laughs> okay, I must say that is impressive. That That's pretty genius. The only gesture, again, that isn't working is this one. Oh. And of course it works when I say it. <laughs> that is, that is cool because it works. And for some reason I didn't expect it to work. The error that I expected to show up did show up. This app was built for a much older version of Android. And I mean, the app doesn't even look like it fits on my screen, but it does work. It has all the necessary notification access and things like that. How about backwards? Let's try go backwards. Yep, that works too. Okay, I must say, I am much more impressed with this device than I thought I was going to be. Mainly because it works on Android 11 and it's a device from 2014. Should you buy the Mayo armband in 2021 if, if you manage to find one somewhere? Well, I don't know. If you find it for a reasonable price, which I don't think they exist online for a reasonable price anymore, and you're big into gesture control, like me, and you want to be able to control your music like that, then editor's note here, I'd say yes. I've actually been using this for the past few hours, nonstop, while editing, showing it off to people, and it has been working flawlessly using the phone, like actually flawlessly. I have not had a single error. It just kind of looks like I needed to get used to the correct way to do the gestures because the band is actually quite limited. You only have a certain amount of gestures. That being said, for the time when the band was made, it's definitely a highly impressive device. You even have access to a Mayo Tasker plugin for your phone, meaning you are able to expand upon what it can already do using a Tasker plugin, which I will definitely be playing around with later, and I will be letting you guys know on the Discord on how that turns out. Sure, in this video we tested out very limited possibilities, Spotify mainly, but that is because without the Mayo market, this device is still kind of dead in 2021. And I'm saying kind of because yeah, you can use the Wayback Machine in order to get these apps and plugins that were already on the store. For example, I got myself the YouTube plugin, the Netflix plugin, and the mobile phone app. But the problem is you're not getting anything new unless you create it yourself. 
I bought it because I'm a nerd, I'm a geek, and I'm into gesture control, and I want to look like a weirdo changing my songs while I'm going for a run. It does have its issues. For example, when typing on the keyboard, I do actually have some false positives for it to unlock and change the song, but when out walking or standing up or not typing on a keyboard, it still works pretty damn flawlessly. So if you want an expensive gadget to kind of change your music around, or unless you're a developer and you actually think you can do something with this, then maybe the answer is yes. But other than that, it's not really useful in VR. And once again, the Mayo market is dead. So for your average consumer, it's probably not the correct thing to be buying in 2021. I would just say wait for, well, newer devices to come out. But I am super happy with my purchase and <laughs> Oh my god, this is gonna lead to some weird social interactions on the street. As you can see, it does work pretty damn well when calibrated correctly with the PC software, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video was just to show you an older device that now doesn't really exist anymore, has been acquired by Facebook. Facebook now owns this and is going to be utilized for us in the virtual reality space in the future. These gestures are what we are going to be using on a daily basis, whether it's an AR, VR, anything like that. And hand tracking is going to happen, whether it's with a Vive tracker on top of one of these to track the movement of your hand, and then it gets all the data from your fingers. As we see from the Facebook research, that is now possible. You can get highly accurate data from your fingers using nothing but one of these devices. It is highly, highly impressive. and. I cannot wait to play around with this a little bit more after I'm done editing and uploading this video. And that was the point of this video, to check out this technology, because I've never had any kind of interaction with an EMG device, to see whether it is really as accurate as people are making it out to be. And considering that this one is pretty old by tech standards, and we've come so far now, I can only imagine what the tech works like now. I am impressed. Just a little video showing you this little device that I managed to grab from the past show you what we might possibly be looking at in the near future. And that is going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too, but please tell me why down in the comment section below. If you guys are not yet a part of our community, make sure to join that Discord down below. Make sure to join that Reddit where I wanna see you posting your spicy memes. If you guys would like to support the channel in any way, shape or form, we've got sick merch down below that doesn't put a huge ad on your body and mugs that boost your FPS by 300%. And if you guys wanna be notified about your content coming up on the channel daily, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forward ding my balance video. Peace.